Well, when officials at Island Beach State Park requested Christmas trees for a dune project, they had no idea they would end up with thousands of them. <laughs> well, now all of those trees have led to another call mm -hmm. for help. This time they need people. Eyewitness News reporter Cleve Bryan explains. They brought warmth, aroma, and Christmas cheer, but always a question what to do with your tree in the new year. So look at the size of this hole. For several years, officials at Island Beach State Park have had their eyes on rebuilding a large damaged dune at the southern tip of the island. Turns out one of the best raw materials to build up the dune happens to be in ready supply this time of year. Christmas trees are used very similar to the way sand fencing is used. A few weeks ago, the park put out a request on social media for people to drop off their old Christmas trees on Saturday, January 4th. The response was overwhelming. We identified the need for about 200 to 250 trees, and we got about 2,000. This huge pile is only half of the trees. Turns out people were pining to recycle their trees. People from all over the state, people from Pennsylvania, people from Connecticut came down. The state park got so many Christmas trees, they actually started asking for volunteers earlier this week to come out this Saturday and help them with the dune reconstruction. It's pretty simple. Once people get out here, all they have to do is move the trees onto the beach, trunk to tip, and then let the wind and the sand do the rest. The dunes are vital to the survival of the area. They um, are our first line of defense against coastal storms. And while the state park is set for the time being on trees and volunteers to lay them out, naturalist Kelly Scott encourages people to check with their own town or county for other tree recycling programs. And everybody's been so supportive. It's really nice to see people giving back. At Island Beach State Park, Cleve Bryan, CBS3 Eyewitness News. Thank you, Cleve.